What's up guys, the Iceman here on a Jeffrey Rose YouTube channel, the Iceman V2013 channel. Yes, December 28th, um, getting close to the end of the year, and I'm trying to pile in some videos. And, you know, I, I, I am flabbergasted by responses that you get. You know, as far as like the CM Punk no policy thing goes, People are making remarks saying, well, the WWE, you know, it's it's their show. They pay for the venue. Uh, they have a right to stop people from wearing CM Punk shirts, merchandise and whatnot. You guys, man, what the fuck are you thinking? What John Cena, the face of the company right now, the face of the company right now, okay? Do they take out the, the fans? Uh, with the signs that say Cena sucks? No, they don't. The signs are there. You see them all the time when you watch Monday Night Raw. This is the face of the company, a guy that's in the friggin' company. But that's okay to deface your, 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 you know, your face of the company. But you're more worried about guys that aren't even in the company no more and, and people wearing their merchandise? It's ridiculous. You see WCW shirts in the arena. You see all sorts of shirts in the arena. The only one they don't want is CM Punk. I mean, they're singling CM Punk out. Come on, guys. Get a grip. You know, I, I, you know I've had a lot of very positive remarks, and I appreciate them. But then I get some really stupid-ass remarks that, you know, you guys just don't make any sense. Now, moving on a little bit, I want to point out, everybody's been talking about the future of the WWE and whatnot, and what we have. Now, understand this. Back when John Cena and Randy Orton emerged into the WWE, look you, who you had for superstars. The Undertaker was there, Triple H was there, Shawn Michaels was there. Kurt Engels was there. There was a lot of superstars. Uh, JBL was there. There was tons of superstars. And these are the guys, because they were there, what made John Cena and Randy Orton what they are today. Now, you can't blame Randy Orton. You can't blame John Cena, because they had a host of superstars that they could have great matches with, and build up their momentum, build up their superstardom to create what they have today. Now, on the other hand of the coin, what does Rollins, Reigns, uh, Ambrose, Bray Wyatt, Ziggler, what do they really have today? They only have John Cena and they only have Randy Orton. And that's the big key difference. Orton and Cena are the only two superstars that have been around for so long and that are active on a daily and nightly basis that these guys can have matches with and try to make themselves look bigger. Now, obviously, you can only have so many matches with each guy, so otherwise it just gets boring. It gets, you know, it's just limited and whatnot. So you have to look at the era when Cena and Orton came in and the era now where when the Shield came in and you got the likes of Dolph Ziggler and whatnot. There's not that many. The WWE did not make any more new stars for guys to beat up and beat to make them look bigger. And that's the bottom line. I mean, right now to me, I, I'm sorry. I'll still watch the WWE. I think they're a big joke right now. Um, I, you know, you can say what you want for what I say about it. But the bottom line is, Cena and Orton have been around since, what, 2003, 2004, whatever. And who else has been around on a continual basis? Oh, yeah, we've seen Triple H on through the years. Then he goes into the corporate stuff, and every now and then, when it's a WrestleMania or whatever, he comes out and he, he gets involved in a major pay-per-view to get himself in the limelight. But other than that, 
There's nobody. The Undertaker. He's been gone for a freaking year. He has not wrestled continuously for the last few years. So there's just guys that come up. There's nobody for them as far as upper echelon for them to challenge to make them look big. So the WWE has this little problem trying to juggle what they're going to do and whatnot. And then we sort of like some Daniel Bryan who came up and who made it big. Unfortunately, he had his injury. I think he was overworked. I think a lot of other people agree with me. Um, but what are you going to do? They've used Kane to the extent where they really can't use Kane anymore. Kane, I give him a lot of credit, has been around for a very long time. But Kane's value um, after being de demasked has totally changed. The Big Show, who is he? He's really a nobody. A guy that cries in the ring with Stephanie and Triple H? How can you take this guy seriously as a, a as a major contender? You can't. Mark Henry, strongest man in the world, per se, by the WWE. What is he what has he done? He has done to do nothing. But you, you need to understand Cena and Orton came in at a time right after the Rock and Stone Cold were gone. And there was a lot of talent there in the WWE, which provided Cena and Randy Orton become major, major superstars. This day, today, it's only Cena and Orton. And you can only do so much with what you have. So you can complain about the John Cena's, you can complain about the Randy Orton's, but you can't blame it on them because it is the WWE's fault for not creating new and popular superstars as quickly as they should have. Right now, in my eyes, Dolph Ziggler could be a WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Will he get it? I doubt it. Because the WWE is deciding to push Reigns, Rollins, Ambrose, and Bray Wyatt. I think it's a shame. I think Ziggler has uh, worked his ass off. And, you know, maybe somewhere down the road, maybe he will get it. I don't know. But, it, like I said, WWE wants a bitch about CM Punk shirts. But yet, your face of your company can have signs in the crowd saying, John Cena sucks. Whether you like Cena or you hate him or you like Punk or you hate him, think about it. Does it really all make any sense? And I know I'll get some stupid ass remarks for this video, but you want to know something? I don't care. I have watched wrestling since way back. In the old NWA days, I followed the WWF. I saw Hulk Hogan defeat the Iron Sheik. I saw WrestleMania evolve. I've seen the Starcades evolve. I've been around for it all. And what I want to tell you is, back in those days, Ric Flair, to me, was the greatest champion of all time. But because Ric Flair would not retire from TV or from the WWE, he goes to TNA, he makes a stupid-ass fool of himself, I've lost all respect. The greatest WWE champion of all time, whether you like it or not, is John Cena. Peace out, everybody. The Iceman here on the Iceman B2013 channel, the AKA Jeffrey Rose YouTube channel. Have a great night.